If you aren't currently doing a liked best next time review with your team every quarter, then can I just encourage you, please start doing it. So what's just happened, uh, a client and her team have just left uh, the office. I wish I'd taken a photo or even a video of them actually doing this thing that I'm about to tell you about. But, you know, it took just over an hour and a, qu uh, sorry, an hour and a half. And what we've got there is a team walking out the door, feeling good, uh, completely uh, in alignment in terms of, you know, the, the, the stuff that they've done and also the stuff that they need to do going forward into the next quarter and all feeling that they've had a good input and be heard. Phenomenal, phenomenal uh, experience really just to watch a team working quite so well. So what does like best next time look like? Well, look, having set the goals uh, over a quarter ago, then this was a case of let's see how have we done? What are all the good things that have happened? What are the things that we've learned? What did we like best about the quarter? And one by one, people would, would, well, would we give some thinking time with a bit of music, uh, just for people to write down their thoughts on post-it notes. And one by one, people would come up and actually put their post-it notes up here, fill out this column and give a bit of commentary around the point that they made. So we're getting a really nice sense of, wow, we've got some momentum in this business, haven't we? Look at what we've done, look at all the good things that are happening. The things that are for next time might be a carry forward or maybe something that wasn't done. There weren't many of those, by the way. But at next time, as we go into the next quarter, what are the things that we've learned? Actually, some processes that oh, we've, we've spotted, there needs to be a process written for that thing. Or there's an issue that, that's kind of starting to arise. Let's work out how we handle the issue. So these are the kind of things that people were then able to identify for next time, for the next quarter. Now, what that allowed us to do was review the, 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 the goals. You know, the bulk of them were absolutely achieved, which is great. But also what came out here set the tone for right here are the key priorities that we need to then focus upon as a group uh, in order to then move things forward. Now, key things uh, of, of note here. One, everyone had their say. Two, there was absolute honesty within the room. Three, people have left the room now energised, clear on what's expected of them going into the next quarter. And guess what? It was done within an hour and a half. Phenomenal, uh, phenomenal uh, effort by the team to be really focused, use this process to then, you know, reward themselves, pat themselves on the back, get clear on what needs to get done. That is a good team and well done for the owner of that business making the time to come in and do that because far better to spend an hour and a half to, to get that kind of output rather than say, oh, we're just too busy, we never have time for these kind of things and then just have chaos in front of you. So please, an hour and a half, do a like best next time review with your team, get focused, get energised, get engaged. If you need any help with it, give me a shout. I'd love to help you. Till we meet though, good luck in business.